And two weeks have passed since local police and masked gunmen opened fire on a group of students killing six. 43 of the students then seemingly disappeared. Today, angry protesters torched the state's capital's government palace. They are furious that officials have not revealed any new information about the investigation into the crime. As protests continue, some intended victims are lucky to be alive. Our correspondent Clayton Kahn brings us the latest. Today begins a 48-hour strike of students by Mexico's largest public university, the National Autonomous University of Mexico, or UNAM, in solidarity with the families and classmates of the 43 forcibly disappeared students from the Ayotzinapa Teachers Training College in the state of Guerrero. As we recall, the students were attacked and presumably disappeared by at least dozens of agents of the municipal police in the town of Iguala on September 26. Various mobilizations and actions are expected to occur throughout the country as widespread clamor continues to grow over how federal and Guerrero state authorities are handling the case. Yesterday, students, teachers, and family that disappeared occupied the State Congress building and mayor's office in the Guerrero State Capitol, Chilpancingo, demanding the return alive of the students, the destitution of the state governor, Angela Aguirre, and the detention and prosecution of Iguala Mayor Jose, Jose Luis Abarca, who remains a fugitive. And thanks to Clayton.